Добрый день, господарство. Витаем у Белорусской церкви в Лондоне. During the Second World War, Belarus was invaded by Nazi Germany and it lost a quarter of its population, the largest percentage of any country during the conflict. Still haunted by the memory of the atrocities, many Belarusians relocated to the UK just after the war and they started gathering in this house, converting one of the rooms into a makeshift place of worship. The hope was always to build a proper church one day so that the community could gather. So, in 2017, the community completed this wooden church to commemorate the 30th anniversary of the Chernobyl nuclear disaster. The community was looking for a building that could embody its collective memory. The initial schemes I drew up weren't good enough because, as Father Serge said, I just didn't know anything about their country and culture. So in 2012, with the help of Father Serge and the community, I travelled to Belarus to conduct an ethnographic research, visiting their historic sites firsthand as well as to visit the locals, listening to their stories. Belarus was once washed with many beautiful wooden churches and buildings, but most of them were lost during the war and under the Soviet regime. This building is rooted in Belarusian tradition and history, and the design is constantly referencing the community's political history. For example, the Baroque cupola crowning the bell tower, it could be mistaken by some as a pastiche or even a postmodern gesture, but in fact, it is an expression of their Catholic faith. Because historically, most of these Baroque cupolas back home in Belarus were forcefully replaced by the Russian Empire with the Russian Orthodox onion domes. This project is unique because it could only happen in a free society like the UK and for Belarusian diaspora in London. This building is an important space that reflects their unique cultural and national identity. So the design was heavily inspired by Ilan Klimov's famous anti-war film, Come and See, which references the practice that the Nazis would do in Belarus. They locked up Belarusians in wooden churches and buildings before setting them on fire. At night, this little church will glow and is a tribute to this horrendous history. <laughs> 